Good afternoon. This is Ms. Billerbeck, and we're going to talk about writing algebraic expressions to represent real world situations. So Peter is three inches taller than Sue. So that's three inches taller is a plus three. And Sue, we can say, is S. Peter will be P. So we can write out P equals Peter and S equals Sue. So we can write Peter equals Sue's age, but we're going to add plus three inches. So we could have also said three inches plus Sue. Either way, that would be an appropriate equation for this. So Peter is three inches taller than Sue. So three inches taller than two. So let's look at the summer camp. So in a summer camp, the number of girls is seven less than, so that's minus seven, seven less than, two thirds of the boys. So that'd be two thirds the boys. If we use B for boys and G for girls. So G equals girls and B equals boys. So we can say the number of girls in a summer camp is seven less than two thirds of the boys. Or we could write that as two-thirds the boys minus seven. So that would be how we would write the girls' equation. Now, if we want to um, rearrange this in terms of finding the boys, we would have, we have girls equals two-thirds of the boys minus seven. So we use an additive inverse here. So the opposite of a minus seven is a plus seven. And then we add a seven here. These are not like terms, so we can't combine them. So it's G plus seven equals two thirds boys. And then negative seven plus seven is zero. So now what we need to do is get rid of this two thirds. So we're going to use a reciprocal. And I'm going to erase this zero because it doesn't do anything to our equation. So the reciprocal of two thirds is three halves. So this is called a reciprocal. Okay, if we do it to this side, we have to do it to this side. So we're going to multiply by three halves. What happens is this two is on top, this two is on the bottom, so they cancel. This three is on the bottom, this three is on top, so they cancel. So this equals B. So we have our equation for boys is boys equals three halves girls plus seven. And that's how you find your two algebraic equations for that. All right, let's look at this one. So we have Isabella's age is seven years more. So seven years more is plus seven than one sixth of her father's age. So one sixth F this year. And her mother's age is four years less well, that's minus four, then three times as old as Isabella. So that's three I. So if Isabella is I, um, the father equals F and the mother equals M. So if we want to write um, an equation of the father's age. So um, actually let's write it in terms of Isabella's age. So Isabella is 
seven years more plus seven than one six of her father's age. Okay, then we have Isabella's mother is four years less minus four than three times Isabella's age. So three times Isabella's age. So now let's substitute that the father is 48 years old. So we can substitute that in here. So these would be our algebraic expressions. And now we're going to solve. So Isabella equals 7 plus 1 6 of 48. I'm just going to put a 1 under here because that's the same thing as 48. Now there happens to be 8 6s in 48, so we can reduce. So this becomes 7 plus 8. So Isabella is 15 years old. So now we can solve for the mother. So the mother is minus four years plus three times the age of Isabella. So that's minus four plus, and three times 15 is 45. So the mother is 41 years old. All right, that's it for this section, and I hope you have a wonderful day.